A former Deputy Assistant Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police has revealed that he authorised a secret recording of a meeting between Stephen Lawrence's friend Dwayne Brooks and his lawyers and detectives. John Grieve said he wanted a record of the discussions with Mr Brooks, who witnessed the attack on Stephen Lawrence in 1993. Our correspondent Sarah Campbell is at New Scotland George for us. And Sarah, what more do we know? Well, this meeting happened in May 2000, so seven years after Stephen Lawrence was murdered, 11 years before two men were convicted for that killing. And John Grieve, in a statement to the BBC, said he wanted an unassailable record of discussions with Mr Brooks, and he'd feared that if he'd asked the participants at this meeting for permission to record it, they would have refused. He also said in this statement he wasn't in the business of deliberately tricking or deceiving anyone, and he does apologise for any distress, dismay or alarm he may have caused Mr Brooks or Stephen Lawrence's parents. Now, Scotland Yard say they are investigating claims of secret recordings, but they do believe in this case that the relevant policy was followed. In a tweet, Dwayne Brooks said today, let's be honest here, does anyone actually believe the covert recording only happened once? Stephen Lawrence's parents have previously called for a public inquiry to understand, in their words, what exactly happened in the years after their son was murdered. Sarah, thank you.